What's going on YouTube? As you can tell from this video, I'm going to be doing some, uh, or the title of this video, I'm going to be doing some 0 to 60 times in the uh, Maverick. I feel like I have to have a disclaimer saying um, that I'm not trying to say that these numbers are accurate. Um, <clears throat> you can get devices that will measure 0 to 60 time uh, quite accurately, but they're a bit pricey and I'm not going to spring for a three to four hundred dollar device that I'm only going to use a handful of times. So I am using a uh, GPS one that you can get for your phone, an Android phone. Um, kind of nice it measures uh, your speed and it'll calculate your 0 to 60 and 100, uh, 100 foot time and quarter mile and top speed and all that stuff um, and the reason I'm doing this I'm obviously I'm not trying to get like super accurate numbers although I would like them to be as accurate as they could be because why wouldn't you um, but if you've been following along on uh, these videos that I've been posting um, and if you haven't, feel free to go back and check out some of the other videos. Uh, click that subscribe button uh, for future updates that will be coming. But I ordered a, uh, an HMF exhaust for the Maverick, uh, as well as an ECU reflash. And I'm curious to see just how much performance um, I gain by that. Now they obviously, they have their recommended numbers or the numbers that their R&D department says that you should see and I'm just curious to see just you know real time so this is part one of that um, series obviously part two will be when I get the the uh, exhaust installed and the tune in place but first of all we should try and get some benchmarks just to see how accurate this uh, little app is so we're gonna do test here in the old Chevy I just want to see speed and how they match seems to be responding pretty good would not recommend driving with your knee while staring at two different screens but it's for science looks to be pretty damn accurate huh yeah not bad all right so Let's do a 0 to 60. Let's <laughs> see what the old Chevy can do. Alright, let's try a 0 to 60. The old uh, Chevy did it in 7.8 seconds. Not bad. Let's do one more for uh, reliability's sake. Alright, here is poll number two. Ah, oh, it's already counting. Stop. Why is it counting already? Not even moving. Alright. Seven point five. Not bad. All right. Now it's time to do it in the Maverick.
What's going on, YouTube? All right, so I just did three pulls in the uh, X30 with my little GPS satellite uh, speed app deal. Um, some things I noticed. One, <laughs> I was actually spinning uh, the rear wheels coming out of the hole. Uh, if you go back and check out the uh, footage from the pulls I was doing, you can actually see uh, there's black marks that are like a good 15 to 20 feet long uh, on the pavement. So uh, I wasn't able, I wasn't able to actually hook up uh, as well as I had wanted to uh, coming out of the hole, which I was actually kind of uh, surprised by. Um, <clears throat> and two, the app seems to definitely be a little bit slower than real life, for sure. Um, going back and looking at the video when I would watch the speedometer on the dash and then watch the, the speedometer on the app, there was a delay. So, um, the number, the fastest pull I did was like six seconds flat uh, with a top speed of 84. And it's, I think it did a quarter mile in like 14.1, I think. Um, and then there was like a 14.4, or a uh, um, 6.4, 0 to 60 with like a 14.4 quarter mile. Uh, all my runs on the app were registering 84 as the top speed, uh, whereas the dash was saying 86 to 87 was the top speed. So, again, these stats are simply just benchmarks that I want to be, uh, compare to once I get the tune in the pipe. So I'm not trying to say that these are like legitimate stats, you know, like, can-am's got it wrong, you know, when they say you can do 0 to 60 in 4.9 seconds or whatever. Um, I do believe that that 0 to 60 time of 4.9 seconds, I guess, would be theoretically possible, uh, not in the XRS. The XRS's wheels are too big, uh, there's too much suspension travel, and the machine is a little bit too heavy, I believe. Um, so I guess in maybe the XDS model um, or even just the, the base X3 model with no tire spin you could probably get a 4.9 uh, 0 to 60 I think it might be possible um, I, my app was saying 6 seconds flat but I can visibly see um, a delay in uh, when I would take off on the app versus when it would register. Um, and I couldn't hook up, which was I was really surprised about on um, cement. <laughs> um, but yeah, so this is part one of the two-part series, so make sure you hit that subscribe button. Um, keep a lookout for part two. I'll be doing that once the, uh, the tune and the pipe get installed. Um, HMF is claiming uh, roughly 20 wheel horsepower, so 30-35 horsepower gain um, from the, the tune and um, exhaust combo. So we'll see where that goes. Um, yeah, thanks for stopping by. I uh, hope you're enjoying what I'm doing. Uh, these adventures are just getting started, so I'll see you on the next one. Thanks.